APC, it's Buck at BFK and Medusa, and I'm going to do a tutorial for you today on making ornaments from the Xmas ornaments. Uh, Rebecca asked me to do this ages ago. It was probably months ago, like in October before Christmas, when ornaments would have been actually like really cool to have out for Christmas. But I tried, I failed, I got really frustrated, I left it for a while, I procrastinated, and uh, yeah, finally come back to it and gonna make this tutorial. Hopefully, Rebecca, please forgive me, I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this helps you, and it helps lots of you guys out in the PC. Um, so we're gonna focus on Pets 4, I'm assuming it works the same in Pets 5, really don't know, I haven't tried it, but if any P5 players out there want me to give it a go, I can have a look too. Uh, so we're going to go in and open up our Xmas ornament box. Always save a new file before we do anything. So this one is very important that we keep the exact same number of characters in the name of our toy. Otherwise it'll get angry and yell at us. So I'm going to do something very original and boring actually. Call it BFK1 ornament box. And yes, we always want to make a new breed so it shows up different in our toy closet uh, even though it's not a breed it's a toy and make sure to choose a new breed ID number it's really handy if you keep a list of all the breed ID numbers that you have in your game of toys and clothes um, sometimes even play scenes and stuff too can clash like weird things like that happen uh, breeds it's handy to have a list too but they have four instead of five numbers so that's a bit different ball game Anyways, but now it says up here our new name for our toy, so we can go ahead and start editing this. Uh, the wave sounds we don't have to do, everything else we do have to change. So this is handy, um, we've got four different sprites here you can see. So this is our main toy, and these are the three different balls that come in the toy box, or the ornament box. So all I'm going to do is change the Xmas underscore O one, I'm going to leave all the other sprite names the same. It's just a lot easier for me, and then I don't waste ID numbers on the other balls. So we'll start with this. And what I do, I change um, the beginning part to my breed ID number, and I do that because then I don't ever have a duplication of these little handy names that you have to make here, and I've made lots of items. So that's just how I do it. You can actually name it whatever you want, just make sure it has the exact same number of characters. And we're only going to change the Xmas underscore 01 part and make sure to change that sound file. There's no sounds apparently. I think they're internal to the, um, the game rather than this file. And just change this part. So you can see the ornament box is this sprite up top and the ornament is this sprite here. So this is a baby sprite and it actually grabs info from the the main sprite. I think that's why we can get away without changing this. Yeah, I'm gonna change this too. You don't have to change that name, I just like to change it to be thorough. Uh, this text here is what shows up for your uh, on-screen tip, so I'll change that. just because it's amusing, and for the balls that you take out. Oh, this one's not an eclipse tree. Um, and I think that's it for this part. We've changed everything we need to. We, uh, I think, are done in lines. So now we open up our hex editor. I use h times d. What am I doing in here? Uh, go to your games, your toys, and open up, oops, your toy. And we're going to control F to find sprite. And uh, this is the first thing we have to change here. So change this to the name that you've made your toy. I named mine BFK1. So you can just type over top or copy paste, whatever works for you. Just make sure that you keep everything the exact same number of characters. 
now everything that is Xmas underscore 01, we're going to change to what we called our sprite. And you just kind of have to be careful that you don't miss anything. Leave the Xmas underscore B1, B2, B3. This is the SCP information. Just scanning it. Hopefully I don't miss anything. Xmas underscore 01. There are quite a few. Because uh, for toys that have several sprites, there's a bit more coding involved. Xbox 2. <laughs> and last but not least, we do have to change this part as well to our name that we named this. And save. So now it should show up separate in the toy closet. Uh, and now would be a good time for you to go into your game and make sure. I'm just going to carry on for the sake of not having a hugely long tutorial, which I always do. So we're going to go into Tinker, and we notice that our sprite names have changed, except for those, which we didn't change. We're going to open all of these right away to make things more complicated for ourselves. All right, and now it's just a matter of changing our images to whatever you want. Obviously, this isn't exactly um, perfect because I'm just doing it for the tutorial. Um, the ornaments aren't actually those ornaments. I didn't change the graphic much. I'm just copy pasting, copy pasting. <laughs> Um, so when you take it out and set it down, it's not going to move or anything. It'll just stay exactly the same. Just a simple toy to show you guys. So that part's done. Now we're, we'll do the away picture, which is from the closet. Make sure that you keep all of these frames. Because we want to make sure that the toy is the exact same size as when we started editing it. Otherwise, it screams at us. And you can click the top part there, and it'll go through the little animation, um, just in case you've forgotten one of the frames. Now we'll do our ornaments. Um, we'll start with magic. And again, you can spend time on all of these little animations if you want them to move and stuff. I tend to do a little bit more simple graphics, otherwise I'd spend hours and hours and hours making toys. Which is fun, but... I prefer not to kill myself making toys. Alright, so you get the idea. We're just going to copy-paste and do the same thing for all three of these balls. But we do have to make sure that we keep the same amount of frames. And last but not least, import. Import, there we go. And hopefully this will work for us. Because <laughs> I really don't want to get mad at the ornaments again. That was not fun. Okay, save. Now we're going to open up our P4 and hope all goes well. I did open it before, but sometimes it's such a pain. It takes forever, especially on my laptop. Eventually it'll start to go faster. There we go. And you can see, voila, yay, that's a good sign.
Oh my gosh. So exciting. Look at it worked. Oh, it feels so good to finally get this done. Whoops, where's the tree? Sorry, the game's really loud. I don't know if you guys can hear that. There's the tree. It's like right there. So you can see that it worked. Voila. So cute. <laughs> this is way too amusing. All right, there you go. So if you have any questions, you need any help, let me know. Uh, that's pretty much it. And I'm assuming it's the same MP5. Again, if you guys need any help, let me know. And uh, there you go. Make some ornaments. Have some fun.